walk us through. You get there this morning. Let's talk about what you saw as soon as you got there and what these firefighters were doing. Yeah, hey, good morning, everybody. I just want to be sure you guys can hear me, right? Because my earpiece is different today. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we got you. We got you. All right, perfect. Yeah, so when I got here, as I was driving up, like you said, we saw the fire first on Skycam. And as I was driving up, I could see the smoke running for a few blocks down from where the fire was at. And when I got here, the crews, the smoke was still really heavy. The fire was still really heavy in the back of the building. And I actually just spoke to a witness who saw the fire started. So the fire actually started right here in this back corner of the building. And from there, firefighters were kind of, he said the firefighters were kind of addressing it just to see where it would go. And then it quickly just spread throughout the entire building. And as you can see, all the damage. And right now we actually just got the chance to finally speak to the fire chief just a short time ago. He tells me, good news, no injuries. No one was inside the building when they when the fire first started and workers were actually leaving when they arrived. But the bad news, the, the building is lost. And as we know, the Old Pink, it's an iconic bar here in Allentown. And as I was actually speaking to more people and they were talking about uh, the specialty behind it, I actually saw an article in 2023 from a site called Hot Culture. It named the dive bar one of the top 24 dive bars in the U.S. And as I was speaking to more people around the neighborhood that live here in Allentown, they just described this as a huge loss. So summary, no injuries. Nobody was hurt in this. There was nobody inside the building, but the building is lost. Okay, yeah, this is a bar that so many people have visited. If you grew up in Western New York, if you went to college in Western New yeah. York, a really popular one, right at the corner of Allen and Mariner there. Uh, Adam, you know, the firefighters were on scene. What did the chief tell you about fighting this fire? We saw them putting just a ton of water on it. This thing was up in flames. Yeah, so the toughest thing about this fire that they said is the fact that they were not able to fight this from inside. They, as, as you see them right now, they're on the lifts. As you can see, that's how they've been fighting the fire this entire time and just recently that they were actually able to get into this little closet but for the most part they were not able to get inside to fight this and actually i want to bring up a text that i just got from a witness who sent me more footage he said my wife my wife saw it started around 5 30 this morning in her office and she saw the fire start called 911 and came running to tell me to move my car because the car was actually parked over here and when he moved it that's when the flames just came up so a lot of people had saw the fire from this back angle right here and people saw the smoke but at first it wasn't a major response because it just seemed like small fire but because of how quickly it went through the building that's when fire uh, crews had to respond a lot quicker and then they had the difficulty of getting inside yeah oh my gosh and, and you know what john can we pull that video up that you just had up because so this video that john's showing you and we'll keep adam's shot up here because it kind of puts it in perspective so this is what it looks like probably around like six o'clock or so. I'm being a little generous with the time. And then on the left bottom screen is what you're seeing right now. But this video on the right hand side of your screen is from a witness who Adam ran into and he interviewed him on air this morning. And Adam, tell us what he told you. He heard a fire truck and went outside and saw just small flames, right? Yeah, so he just, he just came out and he said he just saw, he, he, he heard the fire truck, so he came out just wanted to see kind of what was happening because he was getting ready for work himself. And he said it just started off as a small fire and the, the crews were there. They were kind of trying to figure out uh, what was going on. And then all of a sudden, it just the fire just took over onto the second floor. And I spoke to another witness who also lives behind the house. He said the same thing. He said that the fire started on the first level and then just made its way up to the second level. And then another witness who also lives right here, here on this side street, I, I'm be honest, I, what is it? Yeah. Mariner Street, he also said the same thing and he actually sent in footage. We have that. Hopefully we wow. can pull that up in a little bit. But right, he showed the fire starting in this back corner right here. And from wow. there, it just took over. Yeah, you know, again, this is a place that a lot of people have been over the years. I had friends who lived right at the corner of Allen and Mariner. They were probably there a lot then. Uh, <laughs> they <laughs> sure were. I know. And, you know, it's hard to see something like this happen to, you know, a business that was really kind of a part of our community for such a long time. Um, Adam, somebody was wondering, and I'm assuming the answer is yes, since they were told there was a total loss, right? Connie was wondering if they're going to be knocking this building down. They didn't say anything about knocking it down. They still got to undergo the investigation, and they have investigators on scene right now. But yeah. they're still they're still just trying to knock out the rest of the fire. Um, it mm -hmm. seems like, like I said, they've been having these high lifts here since we got here. So there's no word of whether they're going to knock it down yet or not. But all we do know is that the building is lost.
Okay. Yeah. So, well, again, if it's a total loss, then maybe eventually they will get to that phase. But of course, they have to do an investigation first. Again, we have no information. They're still out there. Fattening. Yeah. They're still making sure there's no hot spots or putting water on the rest of the fire. We don't know what exactly caused this yet. Um, so that'll all be part of this. But boy, those firefighters were busy this morning and it was hot out there. We're going to talk yeah, about that heat coming up. First, um, Adam, thank you so much. We appreciate yeah. it. Maybe we can keep Adam's live shot there. I do want to show you, though, how Aaron and I saw this fire. Okay. Because we mentioned that we saw it on Skywatch. So John's going to bring in that video from Skywatch. Here, Aaron and I were at the top of the 6 o'clock show. We take the shot of Skywatch, and we're both like, huh? what's that? What's that? What is that? So we've got that video for you. John's going to pull that in so you can check it out. And you're going to look to the left-hand corner of the screen. You're going to see exactly what we saw, which had us going, huh? What is that? City of Buffalo this morning. It is a hazy look. I'm trying to see what is that that's in the does it see that like little streak thing? That's what smoke? is that? I can't tell if it's smoke. And that's is what I was smoke? talking about. I don't know. Earlier. Anyways, we'll take a look at that. But uh, <laughs> either way, it is a hazy start to the day. And my point before I saw that and got distracted yeah. <laughs> is that, you know, thank you for understanding. Okay, so there we go. We were, you know, looking at Skywatch. We see, and it's smaller here in the studio, too. So yeah, it's you, hard to see what it actually is. I think there was a light on our lens, too, because you really couldn't tell what that was. But then I went over and I did the weather at the green wall. And I just see it run it back and forth. Doo, doo, doo. Yeah. and looking at Skywatch and trying to get to the bottom of what was going on. And then we came out and you're like, well, there's definitely a fire. Yeah. And then we followed it all morning Isn't for you. Crazy? And there's the uh, outcome of it, which is crazy. So Adam, I want to just ask you one more question from one of our copies because Peter's wondering if any other buildings got damaged. So as of right now, no other buildings got damaged. And I also saw that somebody asked if um, Alan was closed. Alan is closed right now from Elmwood Street to Hudson Street. So that whole block, with Mariner and these other side streets, all from there, it's closed. But no other buildings were damaged. Like I said, from, you see right here, this is the closest house by it. Nothing was damaged here. It was all with the building, um, with the old paint. So that's, a, that's also another good point, that no, no other buildings were damaged. All right. Yeah, Adam, thank you. We appreciate you being out there and reporting for us this morning. Definitely. Always. All right. Very good. So there you go. That was a fire at the old pink on Allen Street. And we're going to keep covering this for you. The information we have right now is that nobody was hurt. Mm -hmm. um, the building fire crews tell Adam is probably a total loss. The crews are still on the scene. You saw them putting water still on the building right now. Allen is closed from yep. Hudson all the way to Elmwood. Elmwood. So that's a big part of a lot it's of people. an area you want to avoid this morning. I mean, they're still putting water on this uh, fire to make sure there's no hot spots, like you mentioned. So it could be closed off for quite some time.